Welcome to the Internet Chess Club. Checkmate. Hi everyone. Welcome to another video on the Marshall Gambit. Today, one before the last one, we're going to dig into the main variation, or close to the main one, and we will see theory that developed until move 2530 as a very regular base long time ago. So let's quickly go to our critical position. Alrighty, we've seen it already quite some time. C6, D4, Bishop D6, Rookie 1, Queen H4, G3, Queen H3, Bishop E3, Bishop G4, Queen D3, Rook A8, Knight D2, Rook E6, A4. Alright, I believe that the very main move in this position is H, Queen H5, and this is going to be our entire topic for the last video on the Marshall Gambit, which is going to be the next one. We had some, after Queen H5, incredible games, like uh, Anand Kamsky, many games of super top players, and really, really unbelievable stuff here. But another move, which used to be the main one, is F5 immediately. This is definitely a very interesting move, simply going directly to the F4 idea. This was also played by very strong players and was very, very popular in the late 80s, 88, 89, and very early 90s. Okay, let's go and start seeing what are white possibilities here. The main move is Queen F1, but there are some few other moves that definitely deserve attention. The first one is bishop takes knight, pawn takes, now queen f1, queen h5, f4, pawn takes, queen g2. Quite a funny game, or, well, not so funny for Renette, which played with the white pieces, a French grandmaster. He played queen, oh, sorry, rook takes a4 against none, already one of our top, top experts at that time in this line, and after... You can try and find it yourself. Queen e8. White has nothing better than simply to resign. He's losing a piece. And that's what he did. This was in Haifa, 1989 European Team Championship. So, taking back on a4 is really not suggested. Queen g2. Rook f8. Queen takes d5. King h8. Bishop f2, and in this position there were several games starting in 1980-81 up to 2001. Rook takes rook is possible, another possibility is bishop e2, which was played in Popovich Pinter in Hastings, but let's focus on rook takes rook, rook takes rook. Rook takes, bishop takes, queen e8, bishop f2. And here a very surprising move. I actually think it's... This move is just the entire spirit of this line, of this position. Queen b8 was played in 1981. A game between Agzam of v against Agzam of g, Yerevan 1981. And after knight c4, bishop c7, knight e5, white is clearly better, and he did manage to win this game. Twenty years after it, Pavel Blatny, the Czechoslovakian grandmaster, one of the biggest experts in this line. I mean, actually, I think half of the games we're going to see with this specific line are his. Played h6. By the way, I do believe that today... He made an interesting switch from chess to poker, and probably not a bad one. The idea after h6 is just simply to, g 